Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using this gravity fed smoker from Masterbuilt to smoke some St. Louis style pork ribs. Stay tuned. Load up your hopper. Alright, so the next step here is to uh, go ahead and get this um, hopper going. I do have these um, master built fire starters. I'm going to put a, a link on the description below if you're interested. But all you have to do here is go ahead and uh, stick one of these babies in here. We're going to light it up. Alright, the next thing you want to do whenever you're going to be doing a long smoke is you want to go ahead and introduce some type of moisture. What I did is I'm, I'm going to get this uh, two quart cast iron skillet or pan, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to fill it up with apple cider vinegar and then I'm going to put it in my smoker to have that uh, moisture inside the smoker throughout the cook. So it's been a couple of minutes. Uh, the little fire starter down here has already done its job. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and close the, the, the doors so that we can start getting our smoker up to this temp. smoke, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this on and I want to put this temperature. When you're doing a, a smoke of, a, of this type of meat, you want to keep it low and slow. So we can go ahead and click on the temperature. We're going to do, I'm going to go up to 230. So there is a little hack or a little trick that I found to the hopper. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check out my, my video about that. I do have it on my, in my, I guess you would call it in my channels or in my channel so that uh, you can go ahead and uh, do what I did so that that doesn't happen to you. But that will save you a lot of money uh, in your charcoal. All right, so while the uh, smoker gets up to temp, what you want to do is you want to get this these uh, ribs, if you haven't done already, you want to get them ready. The thing is you want to get them out of the bag. Very easy to prepare these guys. Um, get yourself a little bit of mustard. And don't worry if you're not a big mustard fan, it's not going to add to the taste of the of your ribs here. It's just to be able to use to for your dry rub. Just smother it. Then you're going to get your favorite rub, whatever rub you're into. Uh, just so you know, I make my own rub. I have a video on, on this. A lot of the stuff that I have, there's videos for or any products you see here, there's a link on the description below. You can use as much or as little as you want. Just make sure it gets seasoned. All right, so that's pretty much it. These things are ready to be put into the smoker. Now, if you do have the time, I would leave these overnight so they can kind of like really really marry each, marry each other but right now I'm not gonna do that I don't have the time I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in here and um, smoke them using the 3 2 1 method I'm gonna go ahead and throw these puppies in here one problem or one good problem I have I have is I'm, I'm actually already smoking a brisket which I have a video you can go ahead and check that one out if you want Hold on, this thing is telling me that the temperature went out of range. Okay, so if you want to check out that video, how see how well that puppy came out, I'm going to be posting it. I also have a uh, pulled pork Boston butt there. Look at that color of that, right? So I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to put these ribs in here so they can start to smoke while these babies, babies are smoking. Alright, so it was able to fit right there, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to smoke these using the three, two, well let me, let me leave this open. So we're going to smoke these ribs using the three, two, one method, which means three, three hours, the way you see it, after three hours I'm going to come back, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to show you what to do on the, on the tube method. So stay tuned. 225, we're doing 225 here. Uh, smoke time is 225 so I mean smoke temperature is 225 so while we wait for our ribs to come out uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to prepare your marinade for the second step this is a um, one to one I guess you would call this 
I'm not going to need a lot because it's only one slab of ribs of barbecue sauce you need and some pineapple juice let me shake this up all right so you're gonna mix this together to make your little marinade guys okay, got a nice little consistency there okay set this aside all right, so the ribs have been in here for three hours. So that's the three part of the three, two, one. See what they look like so far. All right, get a nice little color to them. At this point, you want to pull these babies out. All right, so the two part of the three, two, one method is we're going to wrap these up in foil, stick them back in for another two hours. But before we do that, Go ahead and get your marinade that you uh, set aside. We're going to, for this part, we want to put this with the bone facing up. And the reason you want to do that is because we're going to add this marinade and um, when the marinade, when gravity takes its toll, you want the, the marinade to, to be as much on the meat as possible. So we put it on the bone so that when it, drizzles down it's gonna drizzle down to the actual ribs themselves all right so you go ahead and um, you wrap this up in foil all right so once you wrap this in foil stick it in the uh, smoker with the meat facing down for another two hours all right, so these babies have been in here for about two hours. So let's go ahead and pull these ribs out and uh, finish them off. All right, so the one, the one and the three, two, one. We're gonna open up our ribs. Let's see what these babies look like. Ooh. Hot. Ah, oh, they're already starting to come apart right here. Ah. Oh man, I wish this was smell too because you guys can get a nice little whiff of this. So now my ribs are pretty much done. The next step here is I'm gonna put them back in the um, back in the smoker for the one. Now the one is is subjective. If you like a softer rib, I would probably put it in there like 10 minutes. It's really just to stiffen up the the meat itself. Um, if you like a, a kind of like a little bit of a tougher bark on your ribs. You would leave it for the entire hour. And the other thing you can do during this time if you want, you can go ahead and put uh, barbecue sauce. You can smother barbecue sauce every 10 or 15 minutes to build that, that uh, nice little crust to it. But I'm going to load these puppies back in the uh, smoker and give them that one hour to, uh, to stiffen up a little bit. Uh, one more thing, when you put these babies back into your smoker, they're going to go bone side down. Make sure you put that bone side down. Alright, so after leaving them in my smoker for about 45 minutes, the bark or the outside did stiffen up a little bit, so I go ahead and uh, went ahead and pulled them out. So this is a finished product. Three, three hours at 220, 225, uh, unwrapped, two hours wrapped in foil with a marinade, and then an hour uh, by itself to stiffen up, and this is the end product. Let's dive into these puppies to see what they look like. All right, now my favorite part, the taste test. I think I'll go ahead and I'll take a look-see here. Oh, these things are hot. These are falling off the bone, just coming off clean. That's a good sign. You do want a little bit of tug sometimes, but when you do them like this, you're not going to have any tug. Let's see what this, these babies taste like. Mmm. Has a nice little smoke ring. That's thanks to the gravity-fed barbecue pit. 
Mm. Oh yeah, it was good. Alright guys, this has been The Smoking Beard. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. But y'all gotta try this. Oh man, that's good. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.